this video that may or may not turn my mouth orange because there's so much turmeric in this. I'm so excited to share with you my apartments from my apartment search. If you haven't yet, I have a part one to this video where I share my first five apartments. And in this video, I think I have six or seven apartments left that I'm going to share with you. So just really quickly to get this out of the way, I am looking at apartments that are two bedrooms for $2,500 or less in North Brooklyn, which is Williamsburg and Greenpoint. So let's just get started with the first one. So this apartment is in Greenpoint. It's priced at $2,200 and it's super close to the train. So. This price, the neighborhood, its location, all great things. This is a fourth floor walk up, which is pretty typical. We hadn't done that yet, so it felt a little steep, but the apartment itself was so beautiful. So you walk in, you're immediately brought into one bedroom that is really big. It has two windows. It has a fire escape off of one of the windows, which my roommate really wanted a fire escape and the closet was humongous, like really big for New York City standards. Um, so that was a really good sized room. And then once you walk out of the room, you walk into a hallway that has this closet that doesn't have any doors on it, which was a little bit odd, but very practical still. So I guess it was kind of like a, an open coat closet or something. The bathroom was plenty nice. It, didn't have a bath, it had a stall shower, which my roommate was looking for a bathroom with a bathtub, she loves taking baths. So this was a, a bit of a, a, a con for this apartment, the stall shower. But it also had a, a window in the bathroom. It didn't look like it got a lot of light in the bathroom though, like maybe the window is facing another building. Then you walk down into the kitchen and the kitchen was definitely not huge, but it was functional and it looked nice and it was sunny in the common space, even though this was another railroad style apartment. The kitchen had a another window that seemed to face inside of the building. So it was, it let a little bit of light through, but was mostly dark. The um, kitchen sink though was like really small. When you wash dishes by hand, that's really inconvenient. The living space also was pretty tiny, but this next bedroom, oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. This next bedroom was so beautiful. It had huge bay windows that let in so much sunlight and it had a beautiful fireplace. And those details alone, I was like, I don't care about any of the problems with this apartment. This bedroom is so beautiful. And it was, I did my best to film it as respectfully as I could because whoever was living there saw their stuff in the room. So I was trying to not exactly film their stuff, but try to film the details of the apartment. This room had another good sized closet. I don't know that you can fully get a feel for it, but it had a, a lot of stuff in there. So I knew that it was a good sized closet. Those windows though, really, I was like, oh my gosh, I could do so much in this space and the beautiful fireplace. I mean, those are just su such special details that you can only find in these older Brooklyn apartments that are original details. Not to spoil too much, we didn't end up in that apartment, but we did try to get an application and we tried to get an application that night, like within six hours of seeing the apartment and basically the apartment was already gone. So we didn't even stand a chance. Um, but it was so, I mean, it makes sense. It was a really good price for a beautiful apartment. It also was on a busy street and because it was on the fourth floor, you didn't hear the sounds coming from the street, at least while we were there, we didn't, which was nice. But we didn't really like that as soon as we'd walk out onto the street, we would be on like a busy block. I've been living in Hell's Kitchen on a busy street the past two months. And I don't love that I feel like I really need to be like on my game the moment I like leave my apartment building, if that makes sense. Okay, so 
balconies off both bedrooms. It was actually one jumbo balcony, like really large balcony with entrances from both bedrooms. The bonus feature of the big balcony was why we just had to see this place. The balcony was huge and beautiful, but it was like 10 feet away from the highway. Good morning. <laughs> Come on out. This is gonna be Stage's room, and this would be my room. Good morning. <laughs> we could watch each other out on the balcony <laughs> sleeping. I'm like, I just look into her room. so shaky and you walked into the bedroom and you could hear the highway like not hearing cars honk necessarily as much as like the whirring like just constant background noise that is a highway and cars driving by oh and then as we were leaving we realized that one bedroom had a really good sized closet, but the other bedroom didn't have a closet at all. And there was no additional closet in the public space either. So clearly I think that instead of having two closets, they did an additional half bathroom. And again, I'm just like, well, what does that, I would rather have a closet than a second toilet, to be honest. So even though the price was 25.75, this apartment had been on the market, I wanna say like over two months, or I wrote down in my notes over a hundred days, which is a really long time. And which made my roommate and I feel really confident that even though it was priced at 25.75, they'd probably accept a lower offer. But this is another one, I mentioned this in my last video that some of these buildings that are clearly apartments that would normally outside of pandemic times go for these really high prices that are accepting lower offers, they're only accepting those lower offers for this lease term. Next year for the lease, they're going to raise the rent so much that it'll, it would probably force my roommate and I to move. So all of that put together, we did not move forward on this apartment. That's how we ended day one. Okay, so apartment number nine. We started off the day back in Greenpoint. This apartment was priced at $19.50. So this is only one of two apartments that we looked at that were below $2,000, which like I mentioned in my last video, that is crazy that you can find two bedrooms for below $2,000. But not only is this a two bedroom apartment for below $2,000, this is also a two full bath, two bed, two bath, less than two grand. So we were already very excited about this apartment. This apartment is super quirky and somehow incredibly charming to me and my roommate. It has the most unusual layout. I've never seen an apartment like this before. So this apartment has two even sized bedrooms as well as two identical bathrooms. They're both just mirror images of each other. The bathrooms themselves are, just the fact that there are two full-size bathrooms with two full bathtubs at this price below $2,000 is insane. The bathrooms had these adorable shell-shaped sinks. I don't know if that's what this style of sink is actually called, but they're absolutely adorable. The finishings on the kitchen and bathrooms are definitely not like the most attractive. <laughs> the kitchen itself is actually a decent size. It doesn't have a ton of storage and definitely would need like a kitchen card or something to make it more functional and practical. The living room space too is really unusual. It has this funky, strange tile on the floor, but it also has this built-in like shelf unit on the wall, which I thought was interesting. 
The only rooms that have windows in this apartment are the bedrooms, which is definitely weird and it's not exactly what my roommate and I were looking for in an apartment because one of the things we really wanted to prioritize was sunshine. The bedrooms, however, are absolutely sun-soaked. They have huge matching windows that let in a ton of light. We were there in the afternoon and it still got a lot of light that day. The size of the bedrooms is absolutely ideal. The closet space is huge. This unit also comes with two air conditioners already put in. They're the wall sleeve units. This is another perk, just an apartment that already has the air conditioning set up is so nice if that's just something you don't have to deal with. It's such a hassle to figure out how to put in a window AC unit. The apartment is very wood heavy, but the flooring is beautiful. Granted, the floor in the living room is absolutely not beautiful, so I guess it's uh, they balance each other out. The apartment also has two front doors like right next to each other. My roommate and I suspect that this was a like two apartments that they combined there's even like a door that separated the two sides of the apartment so there's one side of the apartment that had like the kitchen and one side that had the living room and they like mirrored each other it was just that the other the living room side didn't have kitchen appliances the, the apartment overall was just really quirky and charming we honestly really liked the space i like who to thunk, like. So next apartment is apartment 10. Okay, the next apartment is apartment 10. Also, I don't know if you've noticed that the lighting has changed, but the sun is disappearing. So I added some artificial light, sorry, Sumi. This apartment was $21.95. So really good price. This was located in Williamsburg. This was a bit of a walk from the train. So you walk into the apartment, it has a, I don't know that it, it's fully captured in the video that I have, but a really huge, beautiful living room with two big windows. And then behind the living room, there's this um, a fairly basic, but nice kitchen with a window in the kitchen and there wasn't a lot of counter space, but there was plenty of room to add little kitchen carts and add in islands of your own. Um, the bathroom was nice. It had a window in the bathroom, which I think is really nice. That was something I was looking for in an apartment. It looks like it had a lot of storage too, like little drawers under the sink. And then the bedrooms were at the back of the apartment. So we walk over to the bedrooms. The first bedroom had Two windows, huge bedroom, like beautiful, like super sunny, south facing windows, um, a big closet, there was storage above the door. And then um, behind that, the master bedroom, the second bedroom, I'm just gonna try to narrate what my roommate's reaction is. We both walk in <laughs> and she, you just, <laughs> She looks at me and she's like, bad vibes, bad vibes, bad vibes. <laughs> and then that perfectly sums up this weird, weird room. So this, they're calling it a bedroom, but it was so, so small. And it has two windows that just face another building. And the building itself, like it faces this part of the building that just has like patched up walls. And so it looks really creepy. And um, yeah, I don't have much more to say about that. That was just a big fat no as soon as we walked into that weird tiny bedroom that had no soul. So that was a, a sorry, apartment 10. Okay, so this next apartment, apartment number 11, is our final. priced at $2,300 and it is actually a three bedroom. So this apartment was in the best location possibly out of all of the apartments that we saw. It was on the same block 
as our favorite train station because we have access to two trains at this train station. And it had a bonus room. So we were very intrigued to see what this apartment was going to look like inside. So you walk into the apartment, there's a kitchen and it's a really good sized kitchen for New York City standards. It's clearly been updated, but it's not that like tacky, cheap renovation situation that I've mentioned a thousand times. So really good kitchen, great bones. And then the bathroom actually had a clawfoot tub, which was part of why my roommate and I wanted to see it as well. We loved that bathtub. We were very intrigued. We liked that there was, um, I think there's a window in the bathroom too, which we liked. And then you walk out down the hall into the common space, which also a pretty big common space. There's beautiful hardwood floor. There is a window in the common space. The first bedroom, has um, south facing windows so it's super sunny. It has two windows in it. Um, it actually faced a busy street but we felt like we were far enough above the ground that that wasn't really a big deal. Um, so really nice master bedroom. And then the other two bedrooms though were, I'm just gonna say they were not bedrooms. They were maybe offices. It was a one bed, two office apartment. That was what we called it when we left. There was one bedroom that was super dark because it had a north facing window and it kind of had a closet. It had like a hanging rack and a little alcove, but it didn't have doors to the closet. Um, so not really the point of having a closet. And then the other bedroom didn't even have a closet bedroom in quotation marks, did not have a closet. It did have a really cool fire escape that was concrete, so it was almost more like a balcony, and I guess that was interesting. But overall, it was just... <sighs> that apartment, we had such high hopes for it too because of its location. I feel like I've already spoiled that ending, that that apartment did not end up being our place. All right, I guess it is time for me to share with you our which apartment we ended up getting. So, oh, I'm excited. So the apartment we ended up going with was apartment number nine. Yay! I know we saw so many different apartments, but this apartment, apartment number nine, really just, there's something about this place that charmed my roommate and I and was just the perfect blend of right price, right location, right aesthetic of the apartment. We kind of love that it looks like it should be your grandma's house and we just have this vision for what we're going to turn the apartment into and we have, we're gonna dabble in some DIYs. We also each have our own bathrooms, which is such a luxury in New York City. And especially since I have a cat, like just having our own separate spaces really gives us just a lot of room to breathe. It's a weird layout, the way that it's compartmentalized and that might not work for everybody, but the way that she and I live together, it's I think going to work out really nicely. It's in a great location. We love the neighborhood. So, um, yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm just really excited and happy. There are going to be many, many, many videos about this apartment and in this space. <laughs> so <laughs> please, if you can, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if this is the apartment you thought I was going to choose too. Which apartment would you pick? Which apartment was your favorite? So there are going to be lots of interior slash decor slash lots of DIY rental DIY videos to come that will be set in this apartment, which I hope I, I hope it was hard for you to guess which apartment I was in. <laughs> All right, folks, I hope you are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.